Hello and welcome to another episode of me painting again. Oh yes, we're painting again and I'm just mixing myself a colour. Got some white, some blue, some burnt umber, and I'm making myself a greyish, a greyish blue for the sky. We'll crack on with this straight away and let's go for this. I'm looking forward to painting this actually. There's a, uh, some, it's a, gonna be a house. <laughs> nice old house the sky because I was out early the sky was still a little bit dull so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to aim for the block of the house so I'm paint really just painting around the house a bit like when you're trying to tell a story and you go around the houses <laughs> I do that sometimes <laughs> I know there's a point in there somewhere, <laughs> but I'm just not sure where. So I'm doing this uh, building, there's the base, this is where the roof is. You just imagine like the roof there and then uh, think about where the windows are and, and then uh, where it finishes, which is probably there ish guessing anyway about there we can always change it though that's the beauty I think of painting <laughs> you can always change it take the stress out of it and just think I can change it <laughs> Just fill this in a little bit better now. A while ago, I went to this uh, gallery. It was on the on the steep on a steep hill, <laughs> and uh, I went in the gallery, and I was having a look at the paintings, and there was this really nice watercolors of buildings. And I remember thinking at the time, how are they doing that? How have they painted those? They look amazing. And uh, it sort of stuck in my mind, really, that did. That's why I thought I would start doing it, because I want to learn how. I know I'm using acrylics and not watercolours, but they're really the same. They're all the same to me. <laughs> They all work for you. They all work slightly different, but they all work for you in, in the end. So, go to about there, and I'll uh, start putting in the house. Get this, get the roof shape in. Because I think the roof goes to about there. So the roof is darker. It's quite dark grey actually. Dark grey, blue and brown. Blue and brown. Sort of a, that makes a nice dark grey look. Let's try that. I think it goes to about there. Hmm. <clears throat> Just looking at that, I think it goes a bit further this way actually. You have to kind of think about the the shape of the the, the the top part of the house, the triangle that's there. It's a really sharp kind of triangle that goes sort of like that. And then this side of the house is quite dark. 
I might put a bit of brown in it. Do, 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 a bit of brown in there. Yeah, something like that. That's uh, starting to starting to happen a bit now. So now I think what I'll do, um, I'll start building up the colour on here, and then we can. Uh, yeah, I need some yellow ochre. That's what I need. These are the paints I'm using at the moment. Well, I'm, actually, it's a mixture. I'm using the Inter Atelier Interactive paints and then also the uh, Windsor & Newton Galleria ones. And the odd uh, affinity. <laughs> I did get some uh, Rembrandt paints, but I've never used them. <laughs> They were Rembrandt acrylics, and uh, I find that a bit weird since Rembrandt would never have used acrylics. <laughs> Suppose it's all about the sales. So, uh, got some yellow ochre. Yellow ochre and some brown. I don't know if you can see that. Yellow ochre and a bit of brown. I'm going to start putting some colour into the house and um, it's got like uh, old wisteria or something growing on it but it's not green but it looks pretty good so I need to put that on top but I don't just want to get this started that's almost paper colour <laughs> that is almost the colour of the paper Maybe I'll go a bit, tiny bit. Hmm. It's making me think this one is because I need to do get some light yellow in there. Ah, uh, yeah. What I needed was a bit of red in the colour, a little bit of uh, crimson. Just get a tiny bit. If you pick up too much on your brush, just move it away and just get rid of it like that. And it's a quick way of getting rid of that bit of paint. Now we'll try this one. Sort of a pinkish colour. Almost a flesh colour, I think. I'll just put a little bit on there. See how it looks. Yeah, it's not bad, not bad. Don't really want to go too overboard with the colour of this, actually. Because the, it is a... Uh, got a yellow... ...ness. <laughs> it's got a yellowness. Hmm. That's made it easy for everybody. Make yellowness colours for houses. <laughs> I'm sort of avoiding the windows. Avoiding the windows. Thinking about the size of the window as well. It needs to be sort of there. All the windows are sort of in that line. And then there's a thin line there. There's a window there, and then that is the, oh the house is a bit wider than I thought, 
we're gonna have to pull that roof out a little bit. There's quite a big window here. And there's quite a big window there as well. Just wash my brush. Go back into the dark colour for the uh, the roof. And then I can pull this roof out a bit. Wouldn't it be good if you could build houses this easy? <laughs> So what I do, what I tend to do anyway, I know everyone, every artist is different and you'll be different to me, you'll have your own way. I tend to build my colours up a bit like a watercolour, even though I'm using the uh, acrylic paints. It's just the way I, I like doing it because then I can sort of build the colour up a bit and then I can look at it and go, hmm. I think it needs a little bit more dark, and then I can just throw it in. So we're sitting back having a look, <laughs> seeing how I can improve the painting. So we got that. And I might throw in a couple of uh, chimneys while we're at it, and I think the chimney is about the size of that window, so I don't want to do a, a giant chimney again. <laughs> I think it's about there. Is it about there? No, that's in the wrong place. Why did I do it there? <laughs> it's about there. You see why I'd start with a, a little bit of colour to begin with? Because of things like that. <laughs> but they're easy to get rid of then. You have to... Uh... You have to give yourself a chance, don't you, of getting it right, so... This is what I think, anyway. <laughs> give yourself a chance, man. Okay. Just picking up a bit more brown, a bit more of that um, burnt umber colour. Just going to give my paints a quick spray, stop them from drying out. I just use this little atomizer just to keep the paint wet. Keep the paint wet. Okay, now, get a little bit of that sky colour, throw it on there. Just to get rid of my error. <laughs> get rid of the mistakes. Wash away the mistakes. There is no mistakes. Okay.
Okay, bringing that sky down a little bit. Now what I might do is block in the windows. Uh, I need like a... Hmm, I'll block the windows in and then what I'll do is I'll... St oh, I could put a bit more of the colour on actually. I can see sort of a... Um, Sort of a reddish brown. Sort of a reddish brown. Bit of brown and red. <laughs> Maybe a tiny bit of yellow in it as well. The colours. Get the colours in. Around the window, there's a bit of this. You can see there's like a almost like a, a brickish type design, a brick design on the edge of the window. That must be what it is. And, uh, and then some on this. It's not actually on all the windows. I can see it a bit in areas. So we'll put it on. <laughs> There's a little bit of colour there as well. And here is a bit. There. We're just kind of indicating it really. Just indicate what's there. Because we're, uh, you know, we're, we're not stood right on it, and I'm not gonna do ex any extreme detail. I'm just gonna do enough, just enough that I think's enough to show a house. <laughs> There's a wall here as well, and that's got some really strong red on it. But I'm holding back on that wall. <laughs> and there's this house here. And that's red as well. It's got the same sort of red. What I might do is dull the red down with a bit more brown. And that way, it's about there. Like that, yeah. That's, that's better, actually. So that way, when the painting's finished, this building is not going to shout out, which it would have done if I'd have painted it as red as it is. I'm sort of me measuring using things. This house is actually a lot bigger than that. <laughs> it goes to about there. Yeah, what I find is when I'm measuring, I'm sort of measuring uh, relationships to everything. That's the way I do it. When I was doing a lot of life drawing, I started measuring like the size of their arm to the size of their body and everything. <laughs> what a challenge that is. I never really got good at it. <laughs> but you get better, don't you? You get a little better. Something like that, and then there is a uh, a building in front of this this one. Got a roof like there. Where's that come down to? Comes down to about that window, yep. Yeah. Take that to about there. And now I'm gonna mix myself a a 
colour for the windows. This is the colour that's inside the window. And then I need to do a lighter colour to go around the window frames. <laughs> so I'll do that next. So it's got sort of a... I would say it's got a greeny... A greeny white colour. Let's have a look at this. Mm, maybe a little bit of blue in it. Hmm. That doesn't look bad. That does not look bad at all. Got red paint all over me now. <laughs> right, let's put these windows in. So I've got this window. Yeah. This one is a bit more bluer, and this one is. It's about that colour as well. So do that one, and then this one. And finishes. Yeah, it's about right. It finishes about there. Yeah, it's about right. I was wondering about that window, big window big bay type window. This one you can just about see that and this one you can just see that and then it's dark underneath it. So I'll just get some dark. <coughs> that sort of goes there. Mm -hmm, like that. And then there's the two windows. One there. And one there. bit dark under that one as well. Of course we can uh, always improve what we're doing. <laughs> just got to get things down get it get it down and then you can work on it so I think the hardest thing sometimes is actually getting the things down isn't it getting it on the paper but once you start moving on the a painting then you can uh, you start improving now <laughs> this is a bit of a challenge I'm tempted to turn my page around. Well, what I could have done with is a ruler. So I could go... I know. I use this liner. And what I'm going to do is turn it around like this and then I'm going to paint towards me so I can get the uh, line going down
There's a little darkness underneath. See, I want to get that. There we go. And then uh, I want to do the same under this win under these windows. So the window um, bit sort of goes there. Yeah. That gets it started nicely and then I might um work on this shape here and at the uh top of there it sort of goes whoop, like that and then uh Trying to get that shape <laughs> best we can. Anyway, we'll use a different brush. I think. Oh no, we haven't done the colours in these two windows yet. We need to do that first. Got th need some of the blue. A little bit of blue. Blurry grey, whitey colour. I was just mixing a, a blue almost just the colour of the sky really. Uh let's see. Not bad, not bad. We can put a little bit of this in here as well actually. To get that a little bit better. I don't really like these lines, it just gave me an idea. But I don't like uh, mine. <laughs> Not like that. Anyway, it's a bit of blue. There's a bit of blue in the top part of that, and in that as well. And this edge is more like there. There is buildings behind here as well, so I might. Um, well, there's a big hedge as well. Just want to straighten that edge off there to where it should be. Okay, now I'm gonna. Uh, Start putting in some of the colours in the wall because there is a lot of this sort of brownish colour down. Just using this brush, I just picked up a little bit of paint, a little bit of this, dot it in. 
just giving my brush a push into it. Might get a little bit more dark. And then I'll start tapping this in the areas that I need it. Like here. There as well. And there. And here. And you can see like a really just gonna line the brush again. You can see the really big thick vines, I think that's the word for it, grows down here and up up there. I might have to go back here and see what that looks like in the summer. <laughs> but it looks amazing. kind of hangs down a bit more like that. And then it sort of grows up there. I think it's wisteria. I'm going for the guess that that's what it is. <laughs> And then, uh, got to think about this, there was trees here as well. I'm sort of looking, I'm thinking, I've done the uh, building maybe a bit too light. As I like. As things start to develop, you start um, seeing it a little bit different. I need to think about that actually. It isn't too light. It might be a little bit too... might just need a little thin glaze over just to darken like the whole house. That's what I might do. So what I think I'll do is I'm going to dry it and then I'm going to give my uh, building a quick thin glaze just to darken it slightly and then uh, then I'll carry on okay so I've just given it a dry and, uh, and I definitely do feel it needs darkening <laughs> I've got this other plate here I'm going to uh, make myself a glaze on it, a little bit of brown, umber, a bit of umber. This is what I mean about using acrylics a bit like a watercolour, you can, you can do that. Let's have a look how this looks, oh yes.
that definitely works. It definitely needed that. Might chuck a bit of yellow ochre in it as well for this area. A bit of a glaze in there. So what I'm going to do now is dry that again. Okay, so I've dried that off and that's dulled things down a little bit, which I wanted. And what I'm going to do is start bringing things forward and then I can go back again. <laughs> so I'll need a bit of green, a bit of green, a bit of brown, making sort of a dull, dull green. A lot of the times that when I'm painting, I'm dulling colours <laughs> because out of the tube, colours are really strong, aren't they? But in uh, in real life, they are a lot duller. <laughs> the, the real life colours are a lot duller than uh, the colours you get in a tube. <laughs> so I'm just lining these up, this uh, hedge area. Looking at the, uh, the reference I've got and then uh, building it up, put a bit of dark in there. It needs to be a lot darker than what I've got, like that. And the hedge goes around, goes around there, like that. And then it sort of finishes about there. And then the wall. The wall underneath is a sort of a reddish tone, a reddish brown, sort of terracotta y kind of colour. I'll just throw that red in there. A bit of crimson, alizarin crimson. It go all the way along like that. And just drag some of that dark out. Goes like this. Something like that. Okay, so I'm going to uh, let that dry a bit, and the uh, the colours will fade a little bit. I might put a little bit of uh, while it's still wet. Actually, I might put a little bit of dark in there. Use a bit of wet on wet kind of painting in the water, just to get a different type of effect. As I've sort of put this in, I'm starting to realise the house needs to be darkened a bit more. <laughs> I just started that a little bit too light, I think, but it tends to happen like that when I'm painting. When when more stuff goes in, you get more of a uh, an idea. There's a there's a big wall here. And 
as a path. It sort of goes up there. Put this greyish, like a bit of a uh, bit of blue, a bit of brown, a bit of blue. Get this sort of grey colour and we'll put in the pathway. Sort of like that. And a bit of dark for so the path that goes along here is a bit darker like this. And there is a year of, as I'm uh, <laughs> going around the painting now, there's a building over here. Now it is actually quite a cool looking building over here, but I don't want it to look too cool because it'll take away this building, so I might make it look really bland. <laughs> can see the shapes. So all we really need is a, a bit of the shape anyway. So I don't really want to uh, go too crazy with that area. I can see like the shape of the thing there and then here. Bit of a roof shape. Then there's hedging in front of this. So get that in. And then above that area, there's the trees. There's some trees back here, so we'll put them in as well. Give my brush a tap, and then I'm gonna give it a brush with some, I mean, give the brush a tap with some really dark. again a 
put all the trees and then I'm gonna put a tiny bit sort of a, of a more of a grayish white in here because that's where I can see the stuff but I'm gonna keep it really simple actually I'm going to keep it like that and not go too over the top and then there is a building here that's closer that goes over there something like that little shapes this is uh, really helping my building to uh, stick out a little bit. And just throwing in a bit of uh, indication of the, the bricks. <laughs> I forgot I was filming myself then. I just went into uh, painting mode. Just like grabbing a little bit of colour. Maybe get a little bit of white so you can see it better. A bit yellow, a bit green. There's all kinds of colours in these rocks to be honest. So looks like a really old wall. Just looking at the uh, the shapes and trying to get some of them in. The top is sort of has a bit of reflective light on it, and it goes sort of like this. Something like that. Okay, so we're getting getting somewhere. <laughs> slowly but surely what I might do now is give it a quick dry and then I'm going to glaze the house once more to just take it down a little bit and then I because what I want to do then is put the uh, there's a light on here and also I need to put the window frames in so we'll dry it off again Okay, so I'm going to darken the uh, building again, <laughs> making up another glaze, a bit yellow ochre, and brown, yellow ochre and brown. I just want one more glaze over, and then I think I'll start putting the windows in. I think we're there on the colour actually, there. That is quite nice. I'm, I'm ending up turning it back to the uh, colour of the paper. <laughs> Should have just left it like that. <laughs> so I'm going to add a bit of a uh, grey side to this. I've not painted that bit in. I need to paint that bit in there. Uh, 
means a uh, bit of a doorway. A uh, bit of dark where you can see there, and then there's an old little bin here. Little bin there. Dark up there. Get, get some of this uh, hedge. A little bit of that green on the hedge there. And there. A little bit of the blue and the black. Get, really get that dark there. And along here as well, really get that dark there. Yeah, something like that. Alright, I'm going to put in the windows now. I think I'm... Uh, Starting to get somewhere. <laughs> it's starting to uh, look a bit better. The more you put in, the, m the more like little bits here, little bits there. It starts to get a bit better, doesn't it? It's good to take your time on paintings. I take my time sometimes. Well, that's what I'm doing now actually, taking more time on a painting rather than trying to just rush one through. I like to have fun and enjoy it. Enjoy the process. <laughs> There's a bit of a sign there. Can't really read it so I'm just going to sort of just put a little bit of... Uh, Bit of black in that. It's using a, a dark as well. I'm just going to do this. And I want to uh, get that dark there. Try and get the where the path is.
Getting a bit of a dark area there. Just smoothing it with my finger a little bit. A bit there as well. And I'm going to uh, work on the some of the shapes on here on the wall as well. A bit more. A nice, I like this one that sort of hangs there. green on that. Probably a bit too soon to put that on but I'm getting carried away now. <laughs> Start to enjoy it. I always find the first bit really hard like just to get things going and then uh, once it starts going you start going then I start going, hmm, join us. This is fun now. Now I'm like adding little details and I can add the window frames. Ooh. <laughs> Let the fun begin. <laughs> so let's get a little bit of a. I want a little bit of a, a greyish blue. That's light because some of the uh, colour. Another colour sparkle. Yep. Sparkle. So that that little bit of lead there, just wanted it to reflect a little bit. I'm gonna put in the chimney. Chimney. And So what I've sort of done is I've used used the uh, the first part to create my shapes, and then this part I can use to uh, develop the shapes, basically. So yeah, <laughs> it's a method I seem to be able to do quite a lot more than I. Could if I didn't do the method, I think. Can't quite reach that one. I have to move the pad a little bit. That part there is a bit lighter. Just add a bit of, of white. Whoops. <laughs> Not that much white. No. There we go, and then this one here. Mm. 
seems to be more central actually that there. There is two, but a little bit of dark on the back one. Something along those lines. Okay, and now I'm going to start, oh I haven't done the, uh, all the bits on the wall yet, There's some bits here. see bits of uh, dark areas make sure they're lined up a little bit <laughs> gotta make it look like I kinda know what I'm doing there <laughs> To have a challenge that area is. Um, we've got what else have we got that we can put in now? Um, there is a bit of a darker area on the top of the roof, sort of goes like this, and it's there's a bit of a break in it, and then that, and Something on those lines. Let's give it a little bit of a uh, dark in places. smudging it a little bit and just building up the colours so a bit of a yellowy red I just want to put a few shape in there because there is a little bit of that colour in there Yeah, something like that, that's starting to look a bit better. So I'm going to now, I think I'll do the window frames. Get some white in this. So it's not pure white, it's a greyish white. So I'll mix it with a bit of this uh, colour, a bit of the sky colour. I'll try that out. Spin the bristles. And we'll start with this one, I think. So we've got the uh, windowsill there. Spinning, spin the bristles. The line and then this window, which is a bit, a bit it's a narrow window.
Fine, you get a bit more light there in that part of the window. So I'll do that. Maybe a little bit more on the top. There. Um, there's window, which is a similar. Something like that. More light there. And then we've got the uh, the last window for the, on the top floor anyway. Okay, that's pretty good. Quite like that actually. Now we're uh, moving down the windows, down the windows to this window. That goes. So you can imagine if I tried to do this sort of painting in on plain air, like in, out there, it'd be quite hard, wouldn't it? <laughs> That's some of the. Uh, I suppose I would do it less detailed if I was out. Uh, that's what I tend to do actually. If I'm painting outside, I would go for uh, editing things. Nice B window. Looks very nice. The light there, a bit of light there. I kind of lost my uh, color on this bit. Um, <laughs> I need the uh, sort of a greenish color there for the blind. And I've made that white there a little bit too thick. So need to fix that a bit. That's about right.
try and get it sort of about right. <laughs> get it as close as you can anyway. And then I've got to do this window as well. So at least I know the center of the window is about here because you can guide it by the window above which sort of goes about there because this stick it sticks out a little bit so and then it's got a very narrow area there something like that And that bit goes in line with that. The line of the that part of the window there and there. And this sort of goes wee <laughs> almost like a slide there. Bit of an indication that and uh That hedge comes up a bit more about there. And then what I want is some dark colour, some dark for uh, the edges here. If you're thinking, oh, I like this brush that you're using. It is really good actually. <laughs> I mean I'm not um one for saying could get this brush kind of thing. But this is a nice brush. The rigger brush. The number uh number two rigger aquafine daily rowney brush. It's one of my favourites actually. Especially for doing things like this. Of course it's made for rigging, made for painting rigging on boats and stuff. <laughs> Just putting in the odd line here and there on the building. Okay, so that's not bad actually. That's starting to uh need a bit of light here yeah okay we like this now I am gonna work a bit more on this road I just need a bit more of the blue color just to you see I've started with quite a transparent paint and then this is the other thing that I do is I start making it more and more opaque using more and more paint basically and if you have white in your colour it will automatically go opaque which is uh, so what I want now bit of light there get that angle there is actually yellow lines there, so I'm tempted to leave that bit of paper just to indicate it. Not actually paint the yellow line, just use the paper to indicate that it's there. And then the uh, curb, something goes like that. And 
and then there's this uh, these rocks here loads of rocks going all over the place on this wall some have got a little bit of a, a bluish colour in, some have got a brown colour Like that, there's a bit of that colour in this wall as well over here. There's a little bit of the blue, a little bit of the blue like this. So I'm going to put it in, maybe fade it using my finger just to fade it a bit. It's looking quite nice, quite like that. Just bring that across a bit more there. Just so I've got a nice straight area. <laughs> I'm not always bothered about stuff like that, but I think it looked quite good like that. Okay. So I get a bit more there. <coughs> okay, so now I need a tiny bit of red, and a tiny bit of yellow for the outside light. There is an outside light that I really want to paint. <laughs> so there's a bit of red, some of that red. And now I need some yellow, and I might use some of this cadmium yellow. I'm running out of this actually. Just gotta blob that on. orange glow which was going to, which we we're going to start with this color so the outside light is about there so we start with this go a bit thicker a bit more reddish I think it needs to be a bit more red actually. Yeah, that's better. That's nicer. That nice uh, warm glow. And then on top of that, you can get some white. And go into the yellow. And you can decide what kind of glow you want, whether you want it to be a warm light, maybe you want more more red in it, or maybe you want it to be more yellow. That's quite a nice colour.
big blob of colour on there. For the outside light. And I was tempted when I was thinking of painting this is to put the light on in one of the rooms as well. I might do that still. Let's imagine that maybe the lines up a little bit on this one to about there. We can add a bit of light just peeking out. A little bit of that red. Yeah, that does make it a bit better. It kind of balances it because if you have that one light, your eye probably should should go there. Most likely will. And then a bit more white. I'm going to dry that now. And there's a, I might put this post in as well. There is a post. And there's a post right here. It goes right there. Right there. Use a bit of paper <laughs> and go like this. Just to give me the starting block of it, really. Post gets bigger there. Well, you can use a ruler. When you do yours, if you do do a uh, post, <laughs> if you paint the uh, lamp post and stuff in yours, yeah, it's probably best to use a ruler maybe. And then a little bit of grey colour on there. Reflected light would sort of go like that. There's a bit of a sign on it there. Anyway, I'm having uh, post-painting regret now. <laughs> I 
It'll be fine. It'll be fine. We'll just put the little sign there. Because there is a bit of a sign there. A bit of blue. Keep it quite loose. And then... Uh, And I call that one, I think. I think we're about there, actually. There's a bit of a... Uh, you can see the tree behind here. It sort of grows behind like this. Yeah, something like that. So I'll call that one finished. I'll say uh, thanks very much for watching this one. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> it was a bit of a challenge for me, that's for sure. <laughs> so I'll say thanks very much for watching. Cheers. Bye.